So what's up guys? So welcome back again. This time boy Adam Slink. I hope you're day okay. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. I want you guys to watch this video. Huh? I have something to say relating to Junior Pope and also the makeup artist that was buried in Anabra State, in, close to that river, and what Aquaibo government, because the lady is from Aquaibo, and what Aquaibo government has done about uh, done about the situation so far. So, firstly, this video is from uh, Big Brother Ninja Katrina. That's her name. She was formerly a Big Brother Ninja, married to a wealthy man, white man who died recently, and I uh, think she inherited most of this of the man's property. Well, let's drop that aside. I'm not even. I don't even want to talk about Katrina. And we saw how she is worshiping. Uh, the water, mommy water. And we have seen other videos of people carrying coke, Fanta, bread, all sorts of things. They pour they pour them for for river just to appeal the mermaid, the mommy water spirit on that river, just to appeal the gods of that river. And according to that Anabra place, make junior proof for buy. Apart from the money they were expecting from the disease family, guess what? They also told the community that the gods of that water is angry with them. And the only way to appeal them is for them to buy two cows. Two cows. And some other things. Our question is, how do gods eat? I am not saying the gods are not real, but I am asking you, those of you who believe, those of you who will make an argument, I am honestly, please, eh? I am pleading you to tell me, how do gods eat? How do gods eat? Because I know how my god eats. You know how my God eat? My God, my God eat through the needies. My God eat through praises, through living well, through assisting others. That is how my God feeds. It's not as if he eats it, but feed him if you want to please him. Feed the needies. If you want to please him, worship him. Not by giving food or just praises. That's all with your mouth and in your heart. That's all my God. That's whatever it needs. So the gods, how do they feed? And again, if you so much believe in your gods and you still go to a church, why don't you pick one? Abba. Pick one. It's better for you to stay one place than you they go jump uh, you you be a shower for God's matter. <laughs> you be a shower for God's matter. Somebody wrote me the other day, say Adam Slay, God's are real. Oh, that's why we are going to church, going to mosque, God's are real. Why don't you pick one? Stick with your gods, worship them. It's even way more better for you than going to church or going to mosque and also going back to your gods. Why don't you stick to one? Or is your God not a jealous God? Is your God not jealous? But my God is a jealous God. He made it clear. If you want, give what belongs to Caesar to Caesar and give what belongs to the other to the other. You understand? Pick one. Eh? The worst of all human beings is someone that is undecisive. Someone that is playing two-faced. You are worse than anything. Just be honest. Someone that is playing two parts. How, how stressful can it be for a man to play both parts? How stressful can it be? How can you be so... How, can, how was it even possible to, to fashion a brain to the point that you have divided your brain into two? How are you able to do it? 
If you so much believe, all I'm saying is that I'm not saying they are not real. But if you believe, why don't you pick one? Why don't you stick to that? Don't go to the other side. We are not praying for bad things so that we'll be tempted to. But I believe you should pick one. Either you are here or you are here. Eh? Either you are here or you are here. Pick one. Stay with one. Stick to one. Praise one. Eh? Praise one and stick to one. Hmm? It's crazy though. And uh, meanwhile, Junior Pope has passed. You know, concerning the barrier, we do not know yet. It's only the girl, the Aquaibo girl, the makeup artist that was very close to the river because her father was in a boo. Her father was in a boo to produce the sacrifices, the money they needed. Who gave that state the right? Who gave that village the right to bury somebody from another town in that village? Ha! Who gave you guys the right? Who gave you guys the right? They've already made so much mistake when it comes to poop. The other day we hear from the uh, Adama. Adama said they gave Pope a life jacket. Pope said he was too dirty. And some other persons as well. You know, shifting the blame to this guy called Stalin that also survived the boat accident. Huh? About. You know, when we watch all those videos yesterday, that day, the Pope died there. I believe we have learned a lot of lessons from there. We saw the cause of Pope's death, not that river. It was because of human negligence. It's pure human negligence. Ah, it's pure human negligence. Safeguard yourself. That's why I say you believe God or you believe God. That doesn't mean you shouldn't safeguard yourself. Heaven help those who help themselves. They never help themselves from by wearing a light jacket. And when the incident happened, the people around them didn't help them again by rushing them to the hospital. In fact, did you know somebody was taking picture of Junior Pope while they lie here yeah, his body in, in a illos? That is before they took Junior Pope to the hospital from the river, they lie the body and somebody was taking the picture there. You guys wasted so much time. This guy fought for his life. Fought for hours. I bet Junior Pope's spirit will be, be there saying, why are you guys taking pictures? Take this body to the hospital. Take me to the hospital. We'll be pleading with you guys from the spiritual realm. But you guys are busy taking pictures. And now you're going to blame it on other stuff. You're going to blame it on gods. You're going to blame it. So it's nature. That is how God wants it. We need serious re-education in this country. Don't forget the so the so called gods that you guys are worshiping. They defeated them long time ago. And how did they defeat them? Gunpowder. Gunpowder and science. Science defeated them. That is why I say if your gods is too strong, your god should fight against drones. You know? That drones. We saw what is happening between Israel now. The drones. May drone come down your river, make it say whether I know we we'll drop one nuclear weapon there. You could check if your ghost will protect you. I beg him on I go sit down with all those uh, ghost one at the call. Then that be said, thank you to Aquaibo governor who visited the woman's uh, that copper, sorry, the makeup artist's parents. Visited them, uh, of course, to pay solidarity to them. And this is what he did. He gave the senior daughter of that family automatic employment into the Aquaibon civil service. The second daughter, the Aquaibon government will sponsor that second daughter to university. The parents' house will be renovated. Will be renovated. And I believe some certain allowances will be given to the parents. 
And again, not only that, the acquiable governor has already reached out to Anabra State Governor to assume that girl's body and bring it down to to uh, acquire for proper burial from where she came from. She's not from Anabra State. Don't lay claim on anybody that is not from Anabra State. Please, eh? if you want to, if, okay, let me not just go there. So, thank you very much for watching your boy, Adam's link, and uh, catch you next time. Have a wonderful day.